be back and it's uh, Thursday the 14th of May 2020 and I guess we could call this a uh, return from lockdown and yep you'd be right I'm actually going fishing it's my day off it's oh, about five to three in the afternoon I'm heading up to North East Essex be the first session I've had for many months so um, I'm going to fish the tide up at my venue which is uh, I think high tide's about six o'clock or just a little bit after target thornback rays and whatever else might be uh, lurking out there bait pretty simple got some fresh dirty squid frozen dirty squid um, some herring and some bluey and we're gonna just get out and chill for a few hours uh, see if I can get some fish on video and get the old YouTube channel running again it's been a bit dormant <laughs> of late and uh, yeah looking forward to a good afternoon just uh, get some practicing of baiting up and chucking a leg out let out and uh, see if I can still remember how to cast and reel in uh, so yeah I'm about 15 minutes away and uh, I'll get set up on the beach uh, it won't be rammed <laughs> and um, I'll catch up with you all down there well we've made it down to the beach uh, on to other people setting up the guy and his wife in the bay just to the uh, right of me he's had a nice six or seven pound form back on his first cast so that's good news and there were at least five rays came out of it yesterday afternoon so I'm just going to get set up the wind is a uh, northeasterly so it's just over my left shoulder here well there's me uh, Nice dirty squid all on my baiting device. All whipped on. I'm gonna get that off. Plenty of hook short hook points showing. Spring down my top hook, my panel hook. Put that through the opposite way. just about ready to cast there we go one thornback bait nice and dirty nice and smelly and we'll get it out there and hope for a good afternoon all right there we go all ready to cast out small ties this week so using a plain lead should be able to hold them down top of that Well, we're about half an hour away from high water and uh, it's been a very quiet afternoon. Enjoyable nonetheless. Uh, baits are coming back untouched, apart from one that looked like it had a good chew. I've just seen the one one more thorn back come out from the gentleman over there. You might be able to see it in the distance, but I'm going to carry on over high water probably for an hour, see what we can get. And uh, often the start of the ebb is very good here. Well, we've just had a big, big bite on this right hand rod taking line, ready for the tripod over. So I think whatever it is, is on.
fish I might wear it just to see what it is uh, see if we can get him safely unhooked and get it back it's a female get her safely unhooked nice markings look at the black spots here nice to see those and not too spiky this one right I'm gonna switch off for a moment and get it unhooked and see if we can weigh it well that's the blank beaten and uh, it's just really nice to get a fish and uh, get some weight on your line again. Um, anyway, yeah, that fish came about, I don't know, 35 minutes into the ebb. And I think that was on a bit of herring with some squid wrap around it. And uh, we've just got two more casts out there now. We're going to leave those out there for a while and uh, get them in and probably call it a day. And uh, get back home and uh, chill out a bit more. So, uh, good to catch up with you all, and uh, hopefully there'll be a few more videos in the next month, the next few months and weeks. Uh, beautiful evening now, and uh, something beginning to set. A tide ebbing, so you leave these last two rods out for a while, and uh, see what we can come up with. But nice to get a fish on the beach. fish. Right, let's see if I can sort him out. Well this one's gone to seven pound nine ounces, it's a really nice male actually. Uh, nice fish and very lightly hooked, there's some incredible eyes and uh, we're going to get him back. Happy days. <clears throat> Let's make sure he's 
gone. Go on, boy. 